Good evening, everyone. So I've been requested to show you how I edit my videos. All right, so I don't use normal software like Final Cut Pro or Adobe After Effects or anything like that um, because they're expensive. Like the paid versions are really expensive. There was this one that I was trying out. It was called DaVinci's Resolve and it's by Blackmagic and it works pretty well. Um, by the way, that one is 100% free. If you haven't checked it out, you need to check it out. It's kind of cool. The reason I use Blender 3D is because it's free. It does multiple different things. I can do, um, here. I can do 3D rendering animations. It does, uh, cycles renders as well. So you can switch it over and do cycles renders. I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I mean, the stuff that you can do with this thing, extrude, rotate, extrude, rotate. Like, it is awesome, okay? You can also use this to create items like meshes, mesh for Roblox and other games. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with Blender. The reason I choose this as my, um, let's see, as my video editing software is because it's really simple for me to use. I've used it before, I know how to use it, that's why I use Blender to do my rendering. Oops. Set that over to GPU compute. So this is what I've been working on lately. And this is my Q and A. Alright. And basically it allows me to come in here. I've got this little part right here, asking questions. I've got this part right here where I'm actually answering the questions. Uh, anyhow, this is two separate videos. Here's the first video on top. Here's the second video on bottom. So you can think of this as like stacked layers. Whatever's on top is going to show up on screen first. Um, now, what I could do is, for example, this one right here. Um, actually, here, this is a, uh, I don't want to mess with this one. So um, let's go ahead and do file, new. Yep, we're going to reload default. So when you first get into Blender, you're going to get the little splash screen. Just hit OK, go here, drop this down, and switch to video editing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Over here on the top left hand side, you're going to have this scale, and you can keep it if you want. What I like doing is switching this over to properties, and then I scale this way back like that so I can see most of the screen. This is your preview window up here. This is your timeline down here, and here's all your nifty little bits and stuff. So, um, switch over from Blender Render to Cycles Render. That way, you get the CPU option. I recommend that you have a graphics card. If you don't have a graphics card, this is going to be really slow to render, um, especially with 3D stuff. GPU calculate or G GPU compute uses the graphics card to compute everything instead of your um, actual processor on board. Whew, that was a long sentence. Um, right here is your resolution, and you can change it if you want. I like leaving it default. Um, if you want high definition, like at 50%, this is 720p. If you go 100%, it's HD uh, 1080. Um, standard is either 29.9 frames per second or 30 frames per second. The 24 is usually not standard. So I just set that up to 30. Your output, this is where you want your file to save. I usually change this over to my video directory. So you can browse to that place and then type out the name that you want to save it as. Um, change your PNG over to which one? H264. H.264. Wow. Switch over to encoding. Switch to MPEG4. Now this is what I do. Okay, this is just preference. Um, you don't have to do it this way. You could do QuickTime if you wanted to. Or OGG or whatever version you want. This version that I do, it uploads to YouTube and I know it works. It does take a little bit longer to process because it's got to do a conversion, but I like it. Um, once you got the codex in there, go down to audio, select MP3. <laughs> I think that's it. That should be all that we need to render our video. Uh, and then once you have videos to render, and I'll just grab one out here. Ooh, maybe. Hmm. What is that? Okay. What is that? I, okay, here. 
I'll drag this and drop it in. This was me um, taking video of my accomplishment with the um, green box whenever I did it. I wanted proof, so. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I was twitching. I was All right, so as you can see, this, oh, place your cursor over this area and hit the home key. It'll stretch it out to maximize. That goes for any one of these windows. Cursor is over this area, hit home. It maximizes it to like the full length. Right here is where the uh, video is going to end. It's defaulted at 250 frames right there. We can tell that this video is 2,356 frames long. So I'm going to change that to 2356, just like that. Uh, if we zoom out, we can see where it starts and stops at. And you can change that if you want. Um, the next thing that I like to do when dealing with audio, I select the audio. Uh, I don't think you have to select the audio, but playback, audio scrubbing. And come over here to the right, draw waveform. So that way I can see the audio itself. And we can also scale this down a little bit. Zoop, like that. There you go. All right. Um, make sure that you have both selected. And when you, get All right, when you get to an area that you want to cut, all right, hold Shift K. And that'll cut it. Grab the two pieces that you're trying to cut out. Press G. Oh, sorry. Hold shift and left click on those two. Press G and you can grab it. And then that way you can move it around. Um, when you want to have effects, so let's come over here, let's cut this. And I'm just gonna grab these in the middle, press X. All right, I held shift, click, click, press X. Do you wanna delete? Yes, I'm sure. Hold shift, right click, right click, grab gonna move these over here all right now for my two videos this video and hold shift this video once you have both of them selected go to add strip effects and let's just do a uh, cross a simple cross so what the cross does it fades from one to the other um, okay I'm gonna get rid of the audio just because it's kind of annoying what that does, it like fades over. Now notice it's really slow to render. My frames per second dropped to 2.22, 2.17, and that's because it's really large and it's trying to process all that at one time. So what you can do is what's called proxy, um, proxy timestamp. Basically, it rebuilds the video in a smaller resolution so you can play with it here, but once you're done, it will build at full resolution whatever the actual resolution was. Now that should be faster because it's now cached. Err, no. Okay, so stop. Control Z, 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 I'm undoing everything that I've done by pressing Control Z. There we go. Let's get rid of the audio. Grab this, and I'm only going to grab two there, so Shift-K, kill that. Now this. Now I'm press, press, press down on your middle mouse button, and then you can move back and forth, or up and down, or whatever direction. Um, I'm going to go right here in the middle. I'm going to select over here. I selected my strip, and I'm going to do proxy timestamp right there. 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. Go ahead and do 25% or 50%. It's just preference. I do the lowest one so I can get the fastest speed when editing. Um, so let's here you go. Rebuild proxy time code into blah, blah, blah. Click. As you can see, it's going to build it pretty fast down here. Um, that's because I've got the GPU compute. I got the GPU compute on. So that's done. Now, up here in the top right-hand little corner, can you see that? Oh, my head was covering the timestamp right there. Sorry about that. I was like, oh, click here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so up here in the top right-hand corner, there's a little plus button. Click on it. 
And where it says scene render size, switch this to 25%. And now we see what was just rendered. And this is going to move much quicker. I can scrub back and forth on this, no problem. Okay, so let's get to the green box. Let's see. Green box, green box. Okay. That's all red. Tell you what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to right here. I'm going to press Control K. Cut that out. Erase the strip. Grab. We're going to put this over to one. I'm going to go forward just a little bit. Oh, green box. I looked up and then I looked down and I don't turn around on it. Okay. I ran across the planks. Then I come back and I look at the green box again, right? All right. So right there. That's green box where I start looking at it. And I'm still looking at it, still looking at it. Okay, and I look at it through the end. So before, green box. Right there, kind of. All right, I'm going to cut that. This whole middle part doesn't have any part to do with the green box. So I'm going to grab it, uh, cut it out right here. Um, grab this. I'm going to add effect strip time or a speed control all right what speed control does it slows up or speeds down so when you see me do the time lapse stuff i'm usually grabbing this and going grab um oh that's another thing instead of grabbing right here in the middle grab where it goes back and forth you can grab it at the ends on the left and the right and it just grabs that end um for the speed control make sure that you have the speed control on there grab one end Scroll this way out to like right there. Good. And now what should happen is it should slow it down. So now it's like over that entire time length slowed down. That makes sense? I hope so. All right. And let's, uh, let's see. I went ahead and downloaded the, um, the song, Swimmy Texture. All right. Pause. So I'm just going to grab the melody right here, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab that. We're going to pull that right up to one. Um, go to the properties, and I want it to draw the waveform. There we go. Now if we go to the beginning... be a little bit loud I'm sorry okay you get the idea um, to turn down the volume come over here to volume and you can scroll left or right or you can double click and put in a specific number so I'm gonna put in point zero uh, point two five one fourth of the original volume oops Excuse me. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed. Once you're done with everything, all your editing and cutting and clipping and effects and awesomeness, come up here, click on the animate button, boop, and it will start to render out. Um, I think I've got that thing. Yeah, I've got like really far in there. But it does start rendering at whatever size you said and what format you said, and then your output will be your video. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, no pressure. You don't have to. I love you guys. Have a good night.